your Northwest News Channel. This is Q6 News 11 at 11. Tonight's news, your first weather, and sports headlines all in the first 11 minutes. A confrontation in Spokane. That's tonight's top story. Gay activists square off against an anti-homosexual rights group. And also happening tonight, some Persian Gulf War veterans getting sick after they were bitten by sand fleas. At a Q6 News Extra, a Spokane trucker disappears. We'll investigate why in tonight's Northwest Unsolved Mysteries. Good evening. Here's what's happening tonight. Gay rights activists stand off against those who want to limit special rights to homosexuals. Tonight, a rally in North Spokane drew about 100 gay rights supporters petitioning against a proposed ballot measure concerning homosexuals. A nightlife reporter, Rich Robeson, was there, joined us now in the newsroom. Rich, were there any confrontations? Well, Randy, outside the building, there were only the courteous confrontations as gay rights supporters passing out literature talked to people going to the anti-gay rights rally. Inside the meeting, however, the gay rights supporters who ventured in got little tolerance. One young woman quietly snickered during a presentation by one of those who want to limit the rights of gays and lesbians. A security guard was summoned to tell the woman to control herself. It is a tough issue for both sides when it comes to controlling their emotions. Outside, there were picketers urging people not to sign a petition for proposed initiative 610. Among other things, 610 would stop the state from promoting homosexuality in schools or granting minority rights to homosexuals. The problem is, as we see it, uh, the state is supporting a uh, unhealthy, abnormal lifestyle uh, with our tax dollars. And they're also teaching it to our children in the schools. And uh, we, we find that, that is, that's wrong. But opponents of the initiative say the measure would force the state to be a watchdog against homosexuality. Children would, um, would be removed from any family um, where it was perceived that there was homosexuality. So essentially this has uh, always been about discrimination and it's about oppressing people based on some arbitra arbitrary characteristic. And a lot of people tonight did leave with petitions in their hands, and the coordinator of the petition drive says he's handed out 12,000 of them in the state since March 1st. They plan to make a big push for more signatures this Sunday during Bloomsday activities. Randy? All right, thank you, Rich. And tonight's meeting was held at the Spokane Teachers Credit Union building. The Citizens Alliance of Washington says the credit union, however, is not taking a position on the gay rights issue. Also in Spokane tonight, a 14-year-old boy is brutally attacked by three teenagers. David Beaver was less than 200 feet from home when police say the three teenage boys confronted him. One of them picked up a two-by-four and bashed David in the head. Doctors performed emergency surgery to save David. The one that...